who has been the biggest positive influence on you in your business career? Ooh, so this is quite interesting because there's different angles to it and I get asked this quite a lot. In terms of pure, sheer hard work, grit and determination, it would have to be my mother just because she worked multiple jobs to put me and my brother through school and, you know, she would work night shifts and she worked really hard. And, you know, I take that. But in terms of my my mentor and my coaches, and it, it says a lot just because I am quite ambitious, but I don't have a local coach or mentor. And this will sound really bad, but my coaches are Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, Seth Godin. But so I, I look and seek out the people I think are genuinely the best in the world, the Kobe Bryants, the best of what they do. Yeah. And I take inspiration from that. That it's just, I think, uh, especially blue collar kind of people from background, I think we've all got a very good bullshit meter. That unless you've done something extremely good, yeah. I, that's where I get my inspiration from, not just someone locally that's done something or got lucky, but it's also taken little bits from Black Mamba. So, you know, Kobe Bryant, you learn certain things from him, but completely different things from uh, Barack Obama to completely different to some Donald Trump. But the idea is it's just how I, I pick and choose the character traits that people show that I have a huge admiration for the military and military people and background because there's a there's a heart and a passion and a teamwork mentality that you you can't fake and you can't hide. And I love that more than I should. And even one of my clients is in a town called Catterick in the north of England. And it's the the biggest it's like a it's a military town is what it is the biggest one in the north of england mm -hmm. and you go to the supermarket at lunchtime and 30 percent of the people are still in uniform they look immaculate everything's perfect and i just i love it and even though i didn't go into the military i love the the passion and the determination and that's why i'm also really uh, passionate about people who've been in the military who then forge a, a, a career elsewhere if i can i would love to help them and again that's a shout out to anyone but it's mm -hmm. almost I think people aren't supported enough when they leave the military and it's just, yeah. but it's these kind of things that drive me that I just take stuff from you and different people when they, you know, open up about different things that I don't have just one mentor. I, I kind of cherry pick. I love that answer. I love that answer, especially how you look up to different role models, you know, different for different things. Yeah. And especially Kobe Bryant. I wasn't a big basketball fan growing up, but, Kobe was probably one of like my top 10 favorite athletes watch him just because he <laughs> had that, whatever they call a killer instinct. Or I just saw a, a dude who knew what he wanted and he failed. He broke his Achilles. He, you know, came up his first, uh, first championship. And they said his legs weren't strong enough to, to shoot threes. And it's like, dude still kept coming back and you can't fake that. But I think, just but one of the things that so although i'm a, a white british guy i always grown up i loved rap music i think partly because the basketball connection the culture but one of the things that i always loved especially about kanye's first few albums it was all about the hustle it was about look i work at the gap but on night times i'm writing my beats i'm doing my stuff and i think there's a work ethic and a mentality for people all around the world doesn't matter if you're in israel lebanon turkey spain wherever people that want to achieve something they feel that they haven't been recognized or achieved yet and they've got that hunger inside them that you see that through music you see it a lot in black culture but likewise and it's that kind of thing that that's something that drives me although if people look at me there's some white dude in a shirt but that's fine but i still have that background and but i think that's it's funny even on the classroom session on tuesday one a girl called damalola joins uh, and she's from nigeria but she lives in the uk and i was honest with her i said look I respect that a lot of people don't want to learn business from a white guy. That's cool. I'm fine with that. But I'll at least help you on your journey at the right time. But it's just being uh, appropriate to know your audience and actually, but when you have the empathy, I think people buy into it and they trust you. I think one of my big things about business is too many people are too preachy. It's almost that they know the right answer and you have to listen. That's why I disagree with that. I think more with age, you become wiser that you listen more than you talk but almost it's when you can take those life lessons and help share and guide other people i always think it's uh, it's quite cool